Okay. Uh... Well, hello. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Gara said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. <laughs> Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it's nice that Bioware even, you know, recognized the calibrations meme. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. Cool. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. Awesome. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. That's, That's not a tactic. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Aw, oh, poor dude. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. Yay! See, Turians and humans can be nice to each other. There's no bad blood, even though we had a war. Anyway, get to go. Ah, what the fuck is going wrong now? What do you mean offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. I'm not surprised. Okay. This is Cerberus fucking with the ship, isn't it? Commander, Hello. comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. Cool. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Whatever's happening, it's taken Edie offline. So we have some sort of virus. Hey, you remember there was a, a collector virus before. You remember? Mass Effect 2, we actually got infected with a collector virus and Edie had to contain it. Uh, um, could be something to do with that. Hey! Hello, everybody. How you doing? Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. We'll follow fires? Up. Joke, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. Oh, I know what it is. It's that machine we brought in. I'm going in. We trapped the fucker in here, didn't we? Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? The fuck? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me. But I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Um, why? A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. 
Uh, this sounds a little bit bad, an AI being in control of a body now. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Uh, strange. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. <laughs> you know, I agree. I think your body might attract one of the crew members to you a bit more. The one that was attracted to your voice might now be attracted to your body. Um, yeah, even though it is metal, you know. Yeah? Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I would have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. Uh... I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension project helps gifted young biotics. If it had been open 20 years ago, I bet you'd have been there. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. Oh yeah, David Archer from Project Overlord. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Yay, she's happy. Commander? 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 Hello. Now what the fuck is Edie up to? Let's go see. She wants me to take her on missions now. The hell's wrong with her? Yep, the two of them are here together. Check out my co-pilot! <laughs> so she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at no. that. I would have baked a cake. I am <laughs> right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. He's got the hearts for Edie. <laughs> Alright, that's kind of funny. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? 
I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. <laughs> I'll be over here, flying the ship. <laughs> Rubbing one off. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Uh, disobey an order on moral grounds? Uh, I make that calculation. Oh, okay. Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you want okay. level-headed answers to help you fit into polite society, I'm not really the right person. I see. I will take that into consideration. But, you know, you can always ask me whatever you want, whenever you want. So why did they deflect her questions, anyway? Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. Commander? 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 Oh, is that all? He doesn't get annoyed. Does he say random shit like he used to? If I just wait long enough? It's a good question, so I'm just gonna... See if he actually talks about anything with Edie or something. There's only room for two cook for two pilots, eh? I suppose that was how it was in Mass Effect One. Nope, they're not gonna say anything ever, are they? Yes. Hello. Sir. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. It's optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. Huh, that makes sense. Like saving lives. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Cool. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. 
Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. <laughs> Worried face. It's a joke. A joke. Yeah. <laughs> He still looks worried. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands. So they often brought him on board under guard. <laughs> That's pretty clever. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. Yeah, good idea. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. <laughs> Interesting, Barry. It's like, yeah, everyone looks down on AI as being dangerous and whatnot. Edie goes and does something like that. I have a message from Lieutenant Commander Williams. She must be feeling better. Yeah. <laughs> Commander, 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 Commander. All right, uh, is this address valid? Uh, who is this from? Thing. I've called and I've sent messages, but gotten the response. With those comm system out, I don't expect this will get through either. But I heard a rumor on the Normandy dock here at the Citadel. Are you alive? I'm at Huerta Memorial Hospital under the name Tano Nuara. P please excuse the moniker and this email's encryption. In my line of work, it is unwise to advertise my location. Particularly when I am not good and not in good health, we should meet before consequent con circumstances force us apart again. So Thane wants to meet. Help request um, from sender blocked. Okay, Commander, my name is John Dumbao. I'm with Special Tactics and Recon. While some still have concerns about your past activity with Cerberus, many of us in Special Tactics and Recon took your warnings about the Reaper seriously. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents with significant political power to the Reapers. Ah. If you have time to meet me in the Citadel em Embassy, I'd appreciate your discreet assistance. And then me, a Spectre. I don't know how to say this. Udina wants me to be a Spectre. Oh, this is from Ashley. Crazy, I know. I'm not a big fan of Udina, but he can make the Spectre thing happen. He's pressing me for an answer, but I don't know what to tell him. I'm too sore to get out of bed, and this gets <laughs> dropped on me. I told him I'd think about it. If you find yourself near the Citadel, drop by the hospital. I'm feeling a little stir-crazy here. Meet me in Purgatory. From Aria to Luke. I have a proposition for you, Shepard. You won't want to pass it up. I'm in a nightclub on the Citadel called Purgatory. Don't make me wait too long. So everything's pointing us towards the Citadel right now. Good. That's where we'll be heading next, then. Ah, uh, so. Now that we have sorted that out, our next location is the Citadel. So you won't want to miss that, will you? I shall see you all. Ooh. I shall see you all the next time. Thank you for watching, everybody, and uh, have a good time. Bye-bye.